what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you the unbeatable Google Post game plan. If you wanna rank in the Google three pack, watch this. Dedicate this video to Darren Marion. I love you, brother. All right, guys, I hope everybody is doing well. I got a really good lesson for you guys today. In fact, I'm going to make it super, super simple for everybody. Okay, so we're trying to rank in the Google 3-pack, and when you think about all the things that you have to do to rank in the Google 3-pack, I think sometimes you, you think worldwide, right? You think about different links that you have to get and important types of links. I want to try to break it down to right here. So this is where I'm at. I'm in, I'm in Tampa, Florida, right? And if I am trying to rank in this area right here in Lando Lakes, and I'm trying to rank in a, I don't know, a 30 mile radius, a 20 mile radius, which is right around right here, Green Acres, right, Isabella Estates, right around this area right here where I have the box around. This is the only area that I care about in regards to uh, the efforts that I'm going to put out, right? So I take this whole map, like, does that make sense to you so far, right? I take this whole map. I don't care about anything else. I don't care about anything else but the contributions that I could make or that my customers could make in this area here. That's all I care about. I'm just trying to rank in a 25 mile, let's just say a 25 mile radius right around in this circle right here, right? I'm trying to rank just in this area. So what I want to do is I want to get popular in this area right here. Made it a lot easier now, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm probably gonna write something about the Groves uh, Golf and Country Club. Let me show you in this video how I do Google Posts. It's gonna blow you away. Okay guys, so to start this, you need GeoGrid software. Whether you're an agency, or you have somebody working on your Google business profile trying to get you into, you know, the Google Maps, right? You need GeoGrid software because you want to see how far you're ranking. You could not do uh, optimization or SEO, local SEO, without uh, uh, SEO Grid software. I suggest you get one of these, either Local Falcon. This is the easiest one to use. There's another one called uh, Local Viking, a little more complicated to use, but uh, it, it's really good. And the other one is called Bright Local. These are the three that I recommend. But out of the three, I suggest that you get Local Falcon. It's $24.95 a month. Now, if you have an agency like my, like my agency and, and you're one of my clients, I suggest you check my work. Right. So if I'm suggesting you check my work, if you're not working with me, I suggest you check uh, your agency's work. I can't tell you how many people I speak to. And I said, do you get reports at the end of the month to uh, see where you're ranking? And, and people don't even know what I'm talking about. You need GeoGrid software to see where you're ranking and where you could approve. This uh, trick that I'm going to show you will only work if you have GeoGrid software. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to do. So we're in this area right here in the center, but we want to be shown, we want our business shown around here by the Groves Golf and Country Club. And we also maybe want to be found by the, um, by the Cypress Creek Preserve, right? So this is what we are going to do. Very, very simple. We log into our Google Business Profile right? We, all we do is just type in our brand name. And if it's the email we use to create the Google business profile, you'll see this. Uh, you'll see these uh, options right here. If you if just make sure that you log in with the Gmail that you use to create your Google business profile. 
So we're just going to click this area right here that says add and update. And in the interest of time, I already clicked it. And then what I did was I clicked add and update. There's three choices. I clicked add and update. I took a picture and you could take several pictures from the groves, right? I just clicked here and I took, just took a couple of pictures and I added them. I added them right here to the event. I mean, to the, to the update. I'm sorry. Now I wrote about something that on, on September 3rd, we want to have an, we want to have a golf outing if we get 20 people to, to sign up, right? So what are we doing here? What we're doing here is we're importing all our information about the groves into our Google business profile. Anywhere where we could fit it in here. If we did any work for um, uh, next to, like for example, if we power washed our house or if we did, uh, we drove to a customer that was by the growth, we want to mention this golf course and possibly, and, and, and also add the address. We want all that information stored in our Google business profile because when it's stored in here, Google knows about it. So what I did was I came over to ChatGPT. If anybody um, doesn't know about ChatGPT, just go to uh, openai.com and sign up for a free ChatGPT account. And I just said, uh, you know, the Groves Golf and Country Club in Tampa Bay, except if we get 40 participants. And what it did was it, it wrote a beautiful ad, which I just copied and I pasted and I just put it right, right in my Google business profile. Now, to be honest with you, I don't know if I'm going to have a golf ad in September 3rd, but 40 people have to show interest in that. So what I'll do is, is uh, twice a week, I'll create a different post asking people if they want to participate. Look, worst comes to worst, I have a golf outing, right? But what I'm doing is I'm showing Google that inside their update that I'm, tr I'm in that area and I'm posting relevant information from a place that's just five or 10 miles away from my Google business profile. Now think about that. Think about how creative you can be. You could find landmarks, you could put in addresses, right? You could, you, could, you could put in addresses, like you could come right here and say, hey, I was on the corner of, uh, of Caliente Boulevard and Knight Heron Drive by the Oakhurst Park. And, you know, whatever service you provide, that's where you, you know, and write about that and put it in your Google business profile. I see so many people, either they don't fill out their Google business profile, right? They, they don't do this two or three times a week, or they write that they're, you know, happy Easter, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, right? Stuff like that. that that's great, but that's not going to do anything in Google. What we want to do is we want to put all this information right here. See where it says add and update. All the information, remember what I said in the beginning? Remember what I said in the beginning? All about this area right here. Everything in this area right here. So start creating, saying that you did jobs in that area, that you're having a golf outing in that area if you get 40 participants, right? Take pictures of this area. You could use a little map. You could use this map and you could and you could take a screenshot of this map. Google loves this as well, right? A pictures of your map. And, and just, you know, three to five times a week, Create Google posts that you're doing an event, that you just did a job there, that you're trying to do a job there, right? I'm trying to get customers, you know, on the corner of uh, Heron Drive and so-and-so, whatever was the cross street there, right? And that's how you show relevance in your area. All right, guys. So I hope this uh, uh, video about Google posts really helped you. Remember, you want to post um, uh, events and, and updates about things that are going on in your area. You don't have to necessarily have done them. You could be trying to do them, you, you know, stuff like that. But you want to get as much information, pictures, text, addresses into your Google business profile as possible 
because what's that going to do is it's going to start to green you out, meaning that those red dots that I'm showing right behind me are now going to start to turn green. And that's what it's all about. You want your, your signals to be about um, uh, the, the, the work that you do in your area, and you want your clients. Now, this is the second part. You want your clients also to talk about what you do in that area. So it's not only what you talk about, it's also about what your clients talk about. Are your clients talking about writing reviews? Are they writing reviews, adding that, those areas and what you did for them, right? So Google posts are extremely important if you're trying to rank in the Google 3-pack, if you do it the right way, if you do it the way that I said, it's definitely going to help you. I hope that this video helped you. I hope that I was clear. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comment box because other people have the same questions as you. And I'll be able to answer them in the, in the comment box and uh, everybody will have a great time. So with that being said, look, this whole Google thing is really important because let's face it, if we have a business and we get ranked in the Google 3-pack, it could dramatically change uh, uh, your financial situation, right? It could... It could dramatically change that. And when it dramatically changed that, you could do better things for your family, financially at least. But what I'm going to say now is that, you know, while you're learning and stuff like that, be kind to your family. Be nice to your family, right? Help out around the house. Always tell your wife that, you, you know, you're grateful uh, for her and, and, and helping and help her around the house and also uh, your kids, right? Uh, please don't ignore your kids. Sometimes, you know, we sit at this computer all day and we just ignore the people that are around us. So get up every once in a while and help out around the house. Take 10, 15 minutes, you know, take your kids out for a bit, for an hour or two, right? Make it even and, and, and things are going to work out. I promise you. If you're watching videos like this, you're trying to, uh, you're trying to improve your business. And, and I'm glad that you chose me to watch the video and I hope this video helped you. Guys, have a great day and we'll see you next time.